Borregas, today we're out here on Rebo Once again to continue the search for the elusive Red Willow Termigan. It is a rare that I've been trying to find since the map came out, but I'm yet to get lucky enough to come across one. So on this occasion, we're gonna check our Willow Termigan population on single player, exploring all the areas where they live. And apart from finding Termigans, we may also come across some interesting stuff like this Max Estimate Raccoon Dog Track. This is a track with the potential to lead us to our second ever time on Raccoon Dog, so we definitely must find it because these kind of tracks are not that common. And I personally really struggle to find big raccoon dogs, so I'd love to add another diamond to the lodge and mount it along with the red willow termigan whenever I get it. You know there's a multi-mount called Fall Play where you can add both species together, and I think it'd be fantastic to place both the red willow termigan and a big raccoon dog next to each other. Oh, there's a termigan. He's landing, level 1, by color plumage. We gotta kill all the males we see to get some response, because the red plumage only spawns on the cocks, which makes it way rarer than the white plumage that can spawn on both males and females. You know, we got a white the other day, but compared to the red, it's not that rare. Now there's a hen over there, which doesn't have any chance to respawn as a red, but could respawn as a diamond. And I want more diamonds. Those were all hens. So let's harvest these three females and then let's go for the raccoon dog. Oh, whoa. That's a big hen. 747.1, the diamond score is 772, so this was in fact a really big female. I didn't pay attention to the estimate, but I imagine it was massive. Pretty sure the other two were nothing special, although I didn't see the estimate, so maybe one of them is huge. He'd be crazy. Well, this one is a level 1, molding plumage. Now let's see how big is the other one. 675.89, barely a gold. Gotta find the raccoon dog now, I cannot wait to see how big it is. Oh, I think that's him. 8 mythical. Not the level 9 we wanted to see, but there is a chance it responds way bigger. He is roughly at 150, so gonna get a bit closer to use the 243 Cuomo. Just needing a small window to reach a long, ideally a broadside angle, but he's going away, that's gonna make it difficult. Okay, let's see now. He is down. A nice mythical raccoon dog, which will be gold because these guys probably cannot make it below level 9, but I still wonder how close it is. 8.57, we hit a double long and deliver at 119 meters on this medium-sized mythical raccoon dog. This may not be the most popular species, but I honestly love how they look. Oh, look at that. That's a big hen, top estimate of 792, it has a chance to make it, even though it's very unlikely it could be a diamond. Okay, she's landing. You gotta be careful with that because a lot of times they start the landing animation when you least expect it and you end up getting a ground score essentially messing up the shot, so most of the times it's a good idea to be patient. There are more raccoon dogs there. Nothing too big, that is a level 4. And I assume that is a female. Level 4 as well, so let's see how big is this max estimate hen. 722.5, here is scored near the bottom of the estimate, so it's not really that close to diamond. Still a nice find, let's continue. Well, this may not be termigan, but the track of a potential level 9 links is definitely something that I wanna find more often. You know, diamond links are one of the rarest diamonds you can find on Rebontoli Coast, so we must find this guy. And by the way, another rare that I haven't gotten is the Bible links. So once we get the red termigan, we can start thinking in perhaps setting up a grind to get one. Because surprisingly I've gotten both the melanistic and the albino, but I'm yet to find a piebald which is supposed to be quite more common than the other two. I guess it's just because it's really hard to distinguish it from the regular fur types. We may be able to spot him here. Right there. Is it a level 7, a level 8, or a level 9? Let's see. Level 8, alright. He's sadly not a 9. And he's gone. 
We have a second chance to drop him here below 100 meters Con a zero for 50 And he ain't gonna go anywhere I'm yet to see a diamond mythical of this species, but I've seen some that were extremely close to diamond. Like seriously close, even bigger than some troll level 9s. Which makes me think there's a slim chance they can make it below level 9, but in the case of this guy, I doubt he'll be as big as the ones I've seen posted. But let's see, he may surprise us. 26.37, forget about it. Just in a small mythical. Max estimate. Another potential level 3 willow termigan on the same location where I found the last diamond. As you can see we've been doing a complete termigan extermination on the region and this is actually the first max estimate track from a cock that I find today. That may be him. Well that is a hen. But the rest of the flock could also be flying this way so let's see, let's get ready. Right there. Another female. Only hen so far, but I imagine the big one is also part of the same flock. We just gotta be patient and he'll show up at any moment. And hopefully as a huge level 3. And there comes another female. Where are the males? I mean, does this flock doesn't have any male or what? Maybe. Okay, warning call. Not even sure if that's the same flock, to be honest, I lost the track, so I'm just running around trying to find it again, but maybe he's the one flying over there. And telling from the estimate, which goes up to 755, I would say that is a big one. And not gonna lie, that is not the most exciting estimate I've seen on a max estimate, so calling him the big one is perhaps not the most fair thing for the actual big ones. Ok, as for this guy, a 716.24 score, which has to be really close to the bottom limit of the max estimate score range. So well, we just completed the route we had planned for today's single player hunt, we didn't get any diamond, but we can continue looking on multiplayer to see if we can find something nice there. Wow, that one is big. Top estimate of 128. That is indeed massive. Could perfectly be a level 2 diamond, I mean the diamond score is 120, so a top estimate of 128 is quite insane for a level 2. Oh, level 3! Now that's a thing. Two potential diamonds on the same flock. The level 2 is down. And there goes the level 3. Not sure if we hit him. And we should have because those were two relatively easy shots. Ok, let's harvest this giant level 2. 119.43 gold. He's an absolute monster, he has the diamond weight, but it simply didn't score high enough to be a diamond. And fortunately, we have the chance to get something even nicer because the level 3 is still out there. But first, I gotta confirm if we hit him or not. Well, there doesn't seem to be any blood here. So apparently, we missed both shots. I hear a grouse. Oh, it's him. We got him. I thought I was about to lose him for a moment, he was getting far. This guy should be a diamond, I don't remember exactly how many of these I have, but they are one of the most common max labels on Revontoli Coast. And they look amazing, so this will be a nice addition to the lodge. Unless he trolls, which is also possible, but very unlikely. 121.47 diamond, 
The first diamond of the hunt it was quite a long chase, 3.45 kilometers. So that's it, a beautiful trophy, and I think we're gonna conclude the video here. Still no red termigan, but I'm sure we'll find one sooner rather than later. 